nicely. Uh, I will recommend some hyperbaric oxygen treatment, which may heal this even faster, but that's kind of up to you whether you want that, uh, want that or not. Hi, Lourdes. Hi. How are you? How are you? Okay. So she was just telling me about a month ago, right? Yes. You had the um, bone cut out of here because yes. of the infection of the yes. bone? Okay. So actually, I saw the picture, how it looked like uh, uh, before, and it looks, actually looks a lot better. Yes. It's kind of closing. So we need to really kind of maintain this. There's a lot of actually fibrotic tissue. Okay. Uh, I know you have the prescription for Santel, right? Yeah. So I think you need to use it. Okay. But I'm going to clean it out a little bit more and I'll show you how to use it. Okay. So what Santel is a um, collagenase or debriding agent. Yes. It kind of cleans out all this fibrotic tissue, this scar tissue. Yes. So make the heal, make this whole area heal faster. Okay. Okay. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean it out and scrape off all the that tissues so that uh, it'll heal nicely underneath it, okay? So actually, I was surprised to, I was surprised to see this, but actually, when I saw the picture about a month ago, yeah. it was a lot bigger, so it's getting much better, it looks like. Yes, you do have these fibrotic tissue. These are the fibrotic, like a scar tissue. Kind of, your body's trying to heal it, but it's doing a little too much of it. And you're okay. bleeding well, so which is good. Yes. So I just need to clean out all these fibrotic tissues so that it can heal from underneath. So my job is to clean out all these fibrotic tissues. I may have to use a knife even to clean this out because it's, it may not come out on its own. I'm gonna try, anyways. So, some of these things may have to be cut out. You're bleeding quite a bit, actually, which is a good sign. That means it's gonna heal nicely. So I'm gonna clean out some. So tell me, what happened? How, how come you had to go get the this toe amputated? Yeah. <laughs> no doctor in all the time that I was born uh -huh. seen her. Uh -huh. um, this is Laura's daughter talking right now, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> What's your name again? Uh, Maria. Maria? Yes. Okay, Maria's talking right now. <laughs> Not the patient, okay? <laughs> okay. And um I already didn't show the baby, she didn't want to get that cured either. Uh huh. Well like get help, um I mean She um, wasn't seeing a doctor? No, at all. Oh really? Yes. So and sugar was kinda of go going out of control? Uh, she had really bad ulcers. Uh-huh. What, on the outside of the foot? Yes. Okay. And, and before that, she hasn't seen a doctor? No. She didn't end up going to a hospital until she couldn't handle the pain. Oh, really? Yeah. Got all red and swollen and yeah. got infected? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Obviously, didn't see any foot doctors? No. Oh, wow. So, and then what happened? Went to the hospital? Went to the uh, hospital. Yeah, we went to the hospital. Um, they kept her there trying to control the infection, but mm -hmm. um, it had already hit the, um, the pinky bone. Mm -hmm. A little toe? Uh -huh, her little mm -hmm. toe. And, the um, bone was infected? Yes, it was already mm -hmm. infected. Mm -hmm. And um, they told her they had to amputate it. Oh, really? And they took off part of on top where she had another ulcer. Mm -hmm. And um, well, we told her she had to see her physician afterwards, and then the physician told me to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how long was she seeing the patient? Uh, the physician? Yeah. Uh, probably like two weeks. Oh, two weeks? Okay. Yeah. And she just missed one week. But I'll see a doctor, and then I made the appointment to come to you. Uh-huh. And well, I see her reviews, so I decided to pay for her. Really? <laughs> <laughs> she has no um, I'm going to try to cut some of these tissues. I was looking for some instruments, sorry. Okay. I left the screen <laughs> for All a little right. while. Um, we're trying to get these, some of these kind of cut out. Okay. Because without having these cut out, it may not heal right away. So 
So we cut these out. So when did she when did she get out of the hospital? I think it was about a month ago. Mm -hmm. uh, How long was she in the hospital? She was in there for two weeks. Oh, two weeks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after surgery, she stayed there for a while? Yeah, so she was there for a week, and then probably like on a Monday, they did the surgery. Mm -hmm. And they didn't let her go until like next Monday. Oh, okay. So probably like two weeks total. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I think it was like the last week of July, and then she got out like the first or second week of August. Uh -huh. And then, well, the picture I showed you was... Right after 20. that? Uh -huh. Yeah, the picture she showed me about a month ago was about double the size. So it is closing. I just took the x-rays to make sure that it's not invading the other bone and it looked clean there too. So we have a really good chance. You're bleeding well. Okay. We have a really good chance of healing this nicely. Uh, I will recommend some hyperbaric oxygen treatment, which may heal this even faster, but that's kind of up to you, whether you want that, uh, want that or not. And then you will be using uh, Santil in this area. Which one? Okay. Yeah, this area here where there's some tissue here, like this area. Okay. You don't have to use it on this one, but maybe use it a little bit there. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this is, I'm going to clean this out too and see if you can, because if you have too much of these tissues and it won't grow, it won't, the, mm -hmm. but it gets so bloody, I don't know if I want to do too much right now, but I think, yeah, it's getting really bloody there. Okay? Okay. So I will put some centile right here. On that side? Yeah, okay. but the other area is, is okay, a little bit maybe here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna band this up, and I'm gonna also take care of your nails because your nails are really long, and this can cause infection also, okay? okay. So it looks really good, yeah, actually looks uh, bleeding really well. So if she can do some hyperbaric treatment and then uh, like I keep cleaning this out, this should be healing within a month or so. Okay. It's gonna really get closed nicely because it's, it's bleeding well. Okay. Okay. Let me bandage that up. Uh. Does she have to continue putting the zero form? Uh, no, I don't think so. Or should she just put it, no? Put a bandage on it because you, she's bleeding so well. Okay that actually everything would kind of get in the way we, we want to get some air to it so that she could she can heal nicely because if you keep bandaging too much then uh -huh. then it won't air air to the area and then you need some air to heal this thing 